Hello and welcome to another Stranger Objects tutorial. My name is David Drayton and I welcome you to the show. Today I will teach you and show you how I created this plough simulation, which is fairly easy and therefore this tutorial will be very very short. So without further ado, let's jump right in there. So welcome back. Here we go. First of all, we want to delete everything we got in our scene file. So press A and X and get rid of everything. Add a plane, go into edit mode phase and scale it up by 10. Yeah, I like to do it in edit mode so I don't have to apply the scale. So here we go. Next thing I want to do, I will add another plane. And again, I will go into edit mode and I will scale it down on the X axis by 0.5. And I will increase the size in Y by 20. There we go. In object mode, I will raise it above level so it does stop the flickering. I really hate that, but it's, you don't have to do that. Um, back into the edit mode, I use Control R. Then you get that yellow line and I type in, let's say 250 to add 250 loop cuts to my scene. Click it and then it asks you where you want to place it. You just right click to confirm. That's basically it. Now we want to rotate our cloth strip around X 90 degrees and we want to move it up along Z about 20. Here we go. Now it's just, now it should be slightly above the plane we just created. Next thing we need to do, select the ground plane come over here to our simulations or physics properties. We're going to give the plane a collision tag and we also want to increase the friction to 10. Next thing we need to do, select our cloth strip over here, go to cloth and go all the way down to collisions and activate self collision. Here we go. You can fold this back down and I use these values for stiffness. I use a 30 for tension, 30 for compression, 10 for shear and five for bending. It may depend on your scene file, scene scale. So be careful what you do. You don't have to be careful, but you have to experiment for yourself. All right, this is basically it. Now we're going to press play. And here we go. We got the scene falling down. Everything is colliding with each other and we got what we need. If you like your result, all you need to do is rewind, come back to your cloth and go to the cache tab. Of course, you need to first save your file before you can cache it properly. So I will cache mine on my desktop. I will cache and call this cloth drop and save blend file. And now I will come in here and use bake. It's super fast, as you can see, point cache is not so intensive to calculate, but now we can scrub through our timeline because we're going to do one more last addition to our scene. As you can see, it's like very two dimensional. It has no th thickness. What we want to do is come into uh, select our modifiers tab and add a solidify. There we go. I think these values are OK for that for that specific scene file. We could come we could uh, uh, go in and, and maybe dial it up a little by 0.2, perhaps like this. Looks good. And last but not least, we want to also add a subdivision surface. We're going to add this right before the solidify because we want the subdivided object to be solidified. And we want to also add shade smooth just to get this right there. So now we got our solidify, maybe 0.1 is, uh, was okay. Let me just reset this to 0.1. Yeah, it looks much better. I like that, it result much better. If you move your camera up here, you can see that it's rounded. This is something that you don't like to, you don't wanna have it because actually you wanna have it, like you wanna have those hard edges. All you need to do is go to the advanced tab and select boundary smooth all, but we wanna keep the corners and we got this fixed. So this is uh, basically it. And uh, all you need to do is shade it properly, give it some light and render it out. I hope you enjoyed yourself. If so, please leave a like, a comment and consider subscribing and I see you in the next one. Bye-bye.